Thank you for choosing Woods Power Grip. This quick start guide will assist you when using Woods Power Grip's standard flow DC power system vacuum lifters. In this video, we'll use the popular P11104 DC lifter, but the information provided will apply to other lifters with standard flow systems, such as the MRT411 LDC and our power frame series. This video is not a substitute for vacuum lifter instructions. The entire instruction manual should be read before use. The instructions icon indicates when the manual offers important help for each quick start step. Connect the battery to the charger and vacuum generating system using the electrical connectors. Before using the lifter, perform all required inspections and tests in the instruction manual. Inspect all controls, gauges, and indicators for damage. Make sure the sealing edges of all the vacuum pads are clean and in good condition to seal effectively. Inspect the air filter for anything that could limit air flow. Remove liquid, dust, or debris found inside the air filter's bowl. Do not use the built-in drain to remove liquid from the filter bowl. This could cause an air leak. Instead, unscrew the filter bowl from the body to clean the filter element. Check the battery gauge before every lift and at the end of each workday to see if the battery has enough energy to lift. Charge the battery when it has less than a 50% charge. The battery gauge automatically shows the energy level when the valve handle is in the attached position. When the valve handle is in the release position, press the battery test button to see the energy level. If a battery loses its charge quickly or cannot hold a charge for a full workday, replace it immediately. Position the lifter on the material evenly. The vacuum pads must make full contact with the load surface. Pull the valve handle outward until the plunger latches in the attached position. This starts the vacuum pump and pulls air in at the pads. It must remain in the attached position for the entire lift, otherwise the load could fall and harm someone. A vacuum gauge shows the current level of vacuum. The green range shows vacuum levels that can lift the maximum load weight. The red range shows vacuum levels that cannot lift the load safely. Do not lift load until vacuum is in the green range. Once the valve handle is in the attached position, the red low vacuum warning light will turn on while the lifter generates vacuum. Do not lift load until it turns off. If the lifter is equipped with a low vacuum warning buzzer, it will also turn on and keep sounding while the lifter generates vacuum, and a load should not be lifted. When attached, the vacuum pump will turn on and off automatically to maintain vacuum while saving energy. Normally, this is no cause for alarm. However, if the pump runs frequently, maintenance is required. Whenever a load is in the air, carefully watch the vacuum gauge and the low vacuum warning light. If the warning light turns on or the warning buzzer sounds while lifting, make sure the vacuum gauge shows a level in the green range. If not, move away immediately and stay away from the load until safely lowered. Do not use lifter until the cause of the vacuum loss has been found and fixed. A vacuum reserve tank is designed to support the load during a power failure for at least 5 minutes. However, this time depends on many factors such as the condition of the load and the vacuum pads. A power failure means something is wrong with the battery or electrical system. During a power failure, keep everyone away from the load until lowering it. Correct the problem before using the lifter again. Before releasing the lifter, make sure the load is fully supported and secure. Pinch the valve release lever against the valve handle to unlatch. Push the valve handle inward to the release position. After the vacuum pads completely release the load, move the lifter away. Trying to move the lifter before the pads have completely released could result in load damage or personal injury. Thank you for watching this quick start guide from Woods Power Grip. Be sure that you read, understand, and follow the lifter's instruction manual as it provides more information and warnings. You can download a copy of the instructions for your specific lifter from our website, wpg.com.